Hey, welcome in. I have to say, there's something about this elitist group of entertainers that makes me think of some aristocracy right before a revolution. There's just something very, you know, let them eat cake about their worldview. I mean, here's uh, Sasha Baron Cohen, right? He made that movie, The Dictator. But from the way that he talks, don't you kind of get the sense that he might actually like the idea of being a dictator himself? You know, he's all for democracy and everything, but, you know, just give him 10 years. 10 years, he'll fix everything because he's so much smarter than everybody else. He's, he's not at all detached from, you know, the concerns and sentiments of normal people. Not at all. You know, he just understands that, that the little guy doesn't know what he wants, really. And it's, and it's for people like Sasha Baron Cohen to tell them. But anyway, anyway, where are we going with this? Here's the headline. Triggered. Sasha Baron Cohen falls for obvious satire on Instagram. Calls for its censorship. Yeah, he's become very censorious, this guy. Again, he knows better. I mean, that, that's why, right? And he's so smart. I mean, why won't everybody just trust him? You know, why won't they just trust this comedian? Although, after seeing the new Borat movie, uh, the word comedian might be a little bit of a stretch. And seriously, I got through about 20 minutes of it. It was god-awful. So, anyway, what's going on? Filmmaker and satirist Sasha Baron Cohen took to Twitter on Tuesday to call out Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg and the platform he created for spreading a virus misinformation. The information he took issue with was a painting that was shared by social media users on both Facebook and Instagram. So, you know, in fairness, he saw people sharing a painting he didn't like. And do we really want to put uh, Sasha Baron Cohen through that kind of discomfort? I mean, he doesn't like it. I mean, I know you might want to look at things that he doesn't approve of, but, I mean, it causes him so much pain. I mean, and keep in mind, too, this is the Borat guy, the Bruno guy, right? This is the guy who did comedy that a lot of people found offensive. I mean, in fact, an entire nation found uh, Borat offensive, didn't they? Kazakhstan wasn't a big fan of Borat. It almost makes you wonder if this isn't kind of a bit of playing defense a little bit. Coming out now is just ultra, you know, coming out is just ultra intolerant to try and out intolerant the intolerant people that would try and get rid of him because of the edgy humor he's done in the past. I don't know, when you start getting into all this stuff, it just becomes a rabbit hole that stops making sense at some point. But anyway, what was it that offended him so much? It's this painting here of Bill Gates. He's holding a syringe and it says, time to install your update. So it looks kind of like a joke to me, but apparently it looks like a thought crime to Sasha Baron Cohen. So let's see, what did uh, Arbiter of All Things Good and Decent Sasha Baron Cohen have to say about this? He said, Mark Zuckerberg, how do you sleep at night? Uh, this is on Facebook's Instagram right now. Right now. Your algorithms are still recommending lies about the virus and the jab. How many people have to die before you act? I, I, I don't know. Does that feel a little bit hyperbolic there over just a, a painting? Apparently a joke painting. I mean, did this did this uh, painting kill anybody? Unless it flies off the back of a truck like in that movie The Omen, right? I don't think it's going to kill anybody. But what does this really mean? This really means that Sasha Baron Cohen doesn't like people sharing things that he doesn't like and they shouldn't be able to. Uh, you know, very simply, just conversation he doesn't like should be stopped. That's his point. I wonder how many people that could hurt. I wonder. Anyway, it says here, Cohen, who has made a career out of satirical films and documentaries, took issue with the painting, seemingly concerned that social media users would think the painting was asserting fact. The artist, known as Lush Sucks, responded to Cohen's concerns by saying, quote, this is a joke piece, you dork. <laughs> that is funnier than anything that was in the latest Borat movie. I can tell you that right now. And it's not just that I'm biased against him either. I mean, I have a lefty friend who said it was unwatchable, right? So I know some people apparently liked it. I'm not sure they, they anybody laughed at it, though. I think it might have been like the clapter thing. But, you know, again, I just find it so weird. You have these people that apparently Sasha Baron Cohen still is considered a, a comedian. But maybe we should just call him, you know, the Grand Inquisitor right now. You know, the head censor. He seems more interested in censoring people and shutting them up than making them laugh. But I'm just going to end it with this. People like Sasha Baron Cohen 
should be very careful what they wish for. You know, what do they say about those uh, living in glass houses? Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. Please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. If you'd just like to listen, there's Radio Baloney, the podcast. It's on pretty much every platform. If you look for it, you will find it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.